Ravenpack migrated um, an application that processes streaming data from a rack-based system to the cloud, and there are huge benefits that we got from that, but there are also some challenges that we ran into. Uh, chief among those challenges are realizing that you've probably given up a transactional relational database and adopted multiple database systems to house the same data. You might have a key-based storage like S3 to house documents, and then you need another storage, something like DynamoDB perhaps, to provide an index for those. All of that means more burden for the developer to keep track of where things are because you've lost a centralized database. Yeah, you don't need a global re-architecture. Uh, usually your storage subsystems, in the case that we're talking about now, are already an isolated piece of code. So that needs to be rewritten, perhaps. But the main business of Ravenpack, for instance, is processing unstructured text, producing structured data. And that actual processing is completely agnostic about any particular storage level, where the documents came from or where they're going to. Right, so we have a real-time system and a historical system. Uh, Real-time is processing 100,000 documents a day in less than 250 milliseconds. Then we have 300 million document archive. And the goal there is when we upgrade our technology to reprocess all of it so that we have a data set that can be back-tested by the financial community. There's different challenges in doing the migration. In, in real time, you, know, you, you really want the storage subsystems out of the way. Historically, you get this huge benefit of instead of just having whatever servers you own, you can say, for the next week, let's rent 100 or 300 servers from your cloud provider, something that's really impossible beforehand. The work there is largely the same on the development side, uh, but you get some new challenges with this system that you rent on demand. Some of those servers go away. They don't live forever like the ones in your rack do. So you have to be aware of that. You have to make sure that your processes have a really small startup time, do work in identifiable chunks, so if they get cut off someplace, they can be restarted without having to redo everything. Yeah, so security in the cloud is a concern for everyone. But when we looked at migrating to the cloud, I mean, this is one of the concerns we had, and realized that ultimately the cloud company has a lot more security experts and a much larger staff than a smaller company like at Ravenpack. So we're more likely to get more security patches, updated in real time, things like that in the cloud. Our particular business right now is about processing public information. So security is not a specific concern there. We don't have any customer private information. But our future is definitely about doing things in the cloud. And the cost savings versus setting up a private rack of hardware at a client site that has to live forever even after the project's over versus set up a virtual private cloud, do the project, tear it down, are amazing. And banks know all about cost savings. I'm really lucky to live in Marbella. And so it's about 45 minutes away from this event. So it was great. Uh, Raven Pack thought it was such a wonderful event, we chose to provide some sponsorship here because in the Costa del Sol, um, there has been a lack of uh, developing a, a replica of Silicon Valley, and we'd love to see something like that happen. It on can only benefit all the fantastic companies that are already here to create a larger ecosystem. This event is key in that, so thanks for having me.